Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is V. For today's video, I am stressed out. I feel like this is just the bane of this channel that I'm always stressed, always in a rush, always panicking. But today I'm genuinely stressed out and I feel a little bit sad and I just thought, I feel like we're a family and like I said, I'm never gonna just try and come here and talk to you guys when I'm feeling all happy, cheery. Like I wanna be real and emotional with you guys and like open about everything that I feel. And today has just been one of those days, well this week actually, where adulting is becoming scarier. Grab a cup of tea, okay, cause it's gonna be a bit of a chit chat vid. So essentially, I am realizing that graduation is literally around the corner. It is, right now it's February, but it's basically March, so let's call it March. March, April, May, June, July. I'm graduating in four months, and I just don't know what's gonna happen next. There are so many options, which I also recognize is a wonderful position to be in, where you're kind of crippled by choice, and you can't make a decision because there's just lots of different paths that you could take so I think that is a great position to be in but also for me I am the most indecisive person I know like I am the most indecisive person I've ever met and that's just the biggest I wish I wish there was only one option and that's what I'm doing and I can do it well I have one passion and one desire but I'm now battling with my head and my heart my heart okay I'm just gonna tell you I feel <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to tell you what my options are. So I have this one path where my passion, my desire in this life, my purpose, I feel, is to serve my community. And I want to do that through education and the empowerment of women. And I, there are so many ways I want to do that. But for me, it's empowerment and education for young women and young people, but predominantly young women across the globe, especially on the continent, my continent, Africa, and just trying to find a way to actually do that because right now it's all about passions, desires, dreams, what I would love to do, but I actually haven't made any steps. And I, do you know, I think I should give myself credit. I think I have done a, a, a little bit of what I can so far, running Empowered by V, like running this channel sometimes and doing a lot of access work, going to schools, going back to Zimbabwe to work with charities and stuff. Like I've done my bit, but now I want to do it for real. Like I don't want to keep talking about it. I want to go action and get involved. If I could get a job in this, the dream, like that, and the one the one charity and company that I love is CAMFED. It's basically a charity for young women in Zimbabwe who are battling with lots of different things. Education, sexual health, all these kinds of stuff that has been hindering their advancement through life. And if I could ever work for that charity, I would just die, okay? That's my, that is the dream. So education, women, empowerment, charity work that's one stream and Bites. the other stream is I'm so passionate about the media and I want to somehow use the media to essentially do this work here so if I could somehow be making documentaries around the world or presenting something that's meaningful that's gonna make an impact on young people around the globe who are in need of access into education, especially women, and just wanting to make sure that they get access into opportunities like everybody else. Um, that would be the absolute dream. So to highlight social injustice through media would be, oh, and I can do that with documentary, traveling the world, and being able to bring these two passions together. The other thing I want to do is do a master's. I really want to do a master's in international education policy. And you guys know that I do want Harvard. Like, that is not a secret. All of you have known that for a long time. Um, so it's a matter of, will I take a gap year? Will I... Like, when will I do it? Do you know what I mean? Like, when will it happen? I just don't know. Um, it's all kind of in the air, I suppose. So, doing a Master's in International Education Policy, either at Harvard or any other institution, I'd be thrilled just to study that topic. And why do I want to learn International Education Policy? Because of this. I All about the passion, the education, the young people, and I feel like I'm not yet equipped or that I know enough, so doing International Education Policy would kind of equip me with that and I'd be learning all about refugees, young people who are displaced, women and the 
barriers that they have into access to education such as not having the facilities being from a culture where women are second class in terms of boys are always put first and young girls are trained for marriage and they're kind of given into arranged marriages or given into childbirth at a young age or those kinds of things things to do with sexual health like hiv and how young women are dealing with that um places where they need to have the pill or contraceptions put in place because young women don't have the choice over their bodies and when they can and can't have children especially if they're raped or anything like that and just being able to go into that and immerse into learning about the struggles of young women and then learning the skills of how I can kind of impact that and make change okay so so far we have going to work for a charity that supports young women and that kind of stuff and doing it straight off the bat going into work into media world presenting in documentaries about social injustice particularly education and women going to study international education policy for a master's or taking a year out to travel and do the things I've been talking about so before I make a settled decision on whether I'm going to do masters uh, work in media industry or go and work for a charity go take out a year travel the world learn about these things so I would let's just say I'd go to Peru for like two months and teach like English there as a foreign language to young children or I'd go to Gambia and volunteer with a women's health charity or a women's educational charity or I'd go to Zimbabwe and maybe do like a work experience at an organization that for the government maybe that impacts education for women and helps like fix the policy so that it can give women you know but um, I do that for like a month or something or go to Australia for a little while and travel a little bit just to actually enjoy the culture and learn and surf and learn how to dive and whatever and go to France and learn French just do some of the stuff that I haven't gotten the chance to do and figure it out like you know while I'm doing YouTube full-time because I've never actually done this full-time I've never given you guys like full-time you know and those are the options that my heart desires but these three the most so these are my passions things that I would absolutely love to be doing and if life works out that way this would be phenomenal um, moving to London as well is something that I really really want to do I really want to move to London for a while <sighs> Those are the options. Then some of the other options that are on the table that um, I need to explore are there are a few job offers that have came in, but I'm not sure about all of them. They have amazing positions. Some of them want me to literally go in and be like an executive manager from just graduating. Like they want to give me a whole team to manage and stuff, which is crazy. Then oh, there is one thing that I would love to do. This One Young World um, Fellowship and One Young World is a global charity organization that helps empower young women, not young women, young people who want to become future leaders. So I would love to do that as well. But there is just a range of options and opportunities, and I don't know what to do. So as of right now, as of this day to day, I actually have no clue what I will be doing come July. Once I get that diploma or degree or whatever I have no clue what's coming next normally I have a rough idea and I would be pretending and being like guys I don't know and then I actually have a plan but right now I genuinely do not have a plan so all of these options and I literally have no clue what's coming next no clue so <laughs> I'm here to ask for your help if you guys have any ideas of what I should do next any clues of what skills I've got and all this stuff and also I would love to see what I can do with Empowered by V like I would I didn't just start that for just starting it obviously if it naturally comes to an end once I leave university fine but I would like to continue it if I can and also the YouTube channel if that naturally comes to an end once I graduate I'd be sad to like not have you guys in my life anymore well I guess you'd always be there but if that came to a natural end and you guys obviously wanted to see me at university and maybe when I leave university you won't want to know anymore so I just don't know I just don't know my head is scrambled I have no idea what to do next and I don't know number one is there, is anyone else feeling this way what are your plans do you guys have any idea what you want to do next I do think taking out a year is a good idea just but then what if I get so bored in the year and then what if I just people forget and then I won't have anything Ugh. I don't know but that is the crisis I'm having right now while at Ox anyways 
bit of a depressing video i'm sorry love you guys so much thank you for listening to me rant those are the options the things i want to do and i hope you guys enjoyed my suffering in this video um i'll see you in the next one love you so much and okay bye i'm gonna go and take a nap because i think my head right now is just doing a million miles an hour so bye